YouTube! Welcome back to Daily Finance. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Ben, and I make videos on passive income. And today is another Helium video regarding my broken hotspot and how I fixed it by replacing the, uh, the SIM card. So I'm going to go through the steps uh, for those of you who are in a similar situation with their sense cap uh, miners. And let's get right into the into today's video. Thank you again for clicking on today's video. And a quick, I wanted to take a quick second to say that I've noticed that about 70% of those that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So please go ahead and take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel and comment down below on things that you guys are interested in and what I should do in the future for future video ideas. Um, as always, we'll go right into the video. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Welcome back. See you over there. Welcome back, baby. Yes, sir. We are back. Thank you again for clicking on today's video. And today we have a pretty interesting topic. Uh, we're going to talk about how I fixed my sense cap miner that died that I showed you guys in the previous video that I'll link um, either into the description or I'll put a tag up there. Um, so you guys can watch that one if you missed it. So uh, today is Monday, June the 6th, and we are at 843,000 helium hotspots deployed with a current market price of $10.60, a 14.8% increase on the day, which is exciting. Um, today we're talking about my sense cap that died at loads. There we go. So this guy had previously died. I kind of showed you guys in the last video. 20 days ago, I went. it, it died on me. And I reached out to SenseCap's customer support. And you can do that on their app, or you can just kind of log into their, um, their portal. Um, I'll put that link in, in the description in case someone's in the same... Um, the same boat. And essentially what you do is you give them the name of your, you give them a bunch of information um, and they kind of take a look at what's going on and they, they'll they tell you what you should do, what you shouldn't do and things like that. So I um, reached out to them and they had said that um, I had an SD card failure and they recommended that I replace the SD card and then they gave me a bunch of instructions on how to do so. Uh, me personally, I'm a like visual learner, kind of tough to, to follow. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have um, a series of videos, a series of clips in the next um, few minutes here, and it'll go step by step on how I uh, how I reformatted the SD card and did all the, the, the information. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say was the SenseCap customer support is very, very helpful. Um, I They sent me the instructions like the day after I reached out to them, and then I couldn't get to this miner because it was so far away from me. Um, and so, uh, you know, some time went by and they reached out again and said, Hey, you know, did, did it help? Did it not help? What's going on? Uh, which I thought was, you know, going above and beyond in terms of uh, customer support. So, uh, there's that. And then they also send you a, um, a step-by-step -step instructions, um, as you can see here up on the screen, and you just kind of follow those instructions and, uh, kind of, kind of, you know, get it going. So, um, let's go right into, into that. And I was able to get it back online. Uh, it's active, uh, so that's exciting, and we can get back to, to mining some helium here. Um, so let, without further ado, let's go into the step-by-step -step instructions. Okay, guys, so here we are. We have the, the sense cap here. We're going to go ahead and uh, open it up with our Phillips. And what you'll notice here is what I do wrong is I'm opening it from the wrong side. Um, if you see where the antenna is, that's the side that you do not want to, uh, you know, take it out from. So here are the stuff that I, I have. You know, I have the new SD card, and then I have an SD card reader for my Mac. I'm just showing the, the materials here that you'll need, a screwdriver. And then I'll help proceed to open this thing up um, on the wrong side. And the thing is the SD card is on the other side. So if you have SD cards failure, um, I just, I'm gonna show you um, how it looks when you, um, you know, remove the wrong side. So here we go, using my Phillips to unscrew everything. All right, finally got this this lid open and off of the miner here. Be very careful in here. And then I look in and I realize that the SD card is actually on the other side. So I have to seal that back up and open it from the other side. So if you guys are watching this and you have a sense cap, just open it from the side where the antenna is not attached so I get, to. I get it off, get the cap off, and then you can see the SD card right there. I'm pointing to it right there is the old SD card that's uh, had the failure. Um, so careful getting this guy out. It's kind of took me a little 
couple tries, but I finally got it out. And um, so we're going to take that SD card and we're going to go ahead and plug it in to our computer so that we can uh, get a, a, good, a file that you absolutely need for the new SD card. So here's me plugging it into the computer here. Um, and so this is the old one, obviously. So we have the old one in there and it's connected to the computer. And then we can, are able to, you know, get this thing connected and it comes up as, you know, resin, uh, comes up as resin boost, I believe. And when you open it up, you can find this config.json file. That's a uh, config.json and you copy and you paste it. I paste it to my, uh, my, to my desktop here. So that's the one that allows you to uh, connect to the blockchain. Um, so here's, uh, we're going through the the step-by-step -step that was given to me. So now I have the config.json and I am, um, the next step is going to be formatting the new SD card. So at this point I um, eject the current old SD card that's connected to the computer and I put in the new card so that you can format it. And you just use it, uh, you just format it using this uh, SD card formatter that they give you the file for. Okay, so you now need to go and flash the, flash that, you know, the old files onto the new one. So you use it using this Bellina etcher, and that's again from the file that SenseCap will give you. Um, you just scroll down and you'll find the, the file that they give you, the SenseCap M1 file uh, that's given to you. And you just go ahead and flash it to um, flash it to the, uh, the new SD card that you have in there. Type in your password and uh, go ahead and let it flash. It takes a few, a few seconds here. Um, and this is obviously with the new the new card in. The only reason why we put the old card in was for the config.json file, um, and then the sensecap-m1 image file uh, is given to you from the um, from the file that sensecap from the email that they'll send you. Okay, so you're validating. It's it's uh, went ahead and did its thing, and it's just copying all of those files to the SD card, and uh, the flash is complete. All of this is free software, by the way. So once that's done. Um, you got to go ahead and find the resin boot or the the new SD card, which I have up there. And all I'm doing is copying and pasting the config.json file onto the new SD card. Just make sure it's on there. Eject that and put that new SD card back into your sense cap and power on and let it, uh, your, you know, your, your sense cap update and get back onto the blockchain. This took me about maybe 20 20, it says 20 minutes, but it took about an hour. Uh, we got it back so, online. Uh, I went for a beacon earlier. It's slow to get going, but um, so I, you know, I expect it to have lower earnings. Um, I was just trying to get it back online. Uh, I'm going to get my amplifier, get it back up in the attic. Uh, we'll see how, how. So, yeah, quick, easy fix. If you do have the SD card uh, failure, um, I'll go ahead and I'll leave some suggestions for you guys in terms of um, SD cards in the in the description. I got mine from Amazon. I forget how much it was, but I'll uh, go ahead and put that in the in the description for you guys if you guys are in a similar position. And that's how I fixed my my miner there. Uh, not too bad. Follow these steps. I'm sure that you'll get your guys' back online. And so before we, we end it here, I just want to remind you guys, I do have links in the description for McGill products. I uh, use a McGill 6 dBi antenna and I have a McGill 7.5 dBi antenna. They are very good. They help me. I know the earnings are kind of lower these days. Um, but again, the best things we can do is keep them, uh, you know, our miners online connected to the internet with a, uh, optimal, you know, as high as you can get them with an optimal, uh, antenna and you'll, uh, you'll be gold. So, um, as always, again, this is for entertainment purposes and it's not financial advice, but, um, as always, I appreciate you guys clicking on today's video. If you guys want to donate back to the channel, please, in a free way, you can please just, um, you know, like comment, subscribe to this video. It really helps it with the algorithm. And if you're going to buy an antenna anyway, might as well buy a McGill through my link and that'll give back to this channel. Um, so thank you guys so much. Um, check out the link for, or check out the description for all the links and all of the, uh, the good stuff, more information. I appreciate you guys clicking on today's video as always, and we will see you guys in the next one. Take care.